Hi everyone, Alex here, continuing with our HVAC series. Today we're going to look into VAV zoning plans. So we already defined our spaces, now we're defining our HVAC zones. So in essence what this will be is, okay, which space is going to be fed by which VAV box, and each one of those VAV boxes is going to be controlled by a dedicated thermostat. Let's get to it. Hi everyone, this is Alex with BIM It Up, where we help you with professional training and coaching in mechanical, electrical, plumbing, fire protection systems, and Autodesk platforms like Revit and AutoCAD MEP. Let's get started. All right, so in previous videos, we broke down our building by air handlers and we created air handling unit plans and we also created spaces and we created space plans with color fills and legends. Now what I wanna do in this video is define my zones, my HVAC zones, so that I can locate my VAV boxes and then locate my diffusers and then start ducting to them. So I'm gonna create mechanical zone plans. But before doing that, I'm gonna to go to my air handling unit plans and I'm gonna tweak things a little bit because I used to have like this conference room. I had it in a dedicated FANCO unit and this conference room, like all the conference room, I had them in FANCO units. But I think I'm just gonna serve them from the same air handler and have a dedicated VAV box controlling it. I just wanted to show FANCO units in Revit, but we'll do it in another example. So then this, is Ahu2. So this guy is being served by Ahu2. Similarly, this conference room here should be served by Ahu4. Then this conference room should be served by, actually this admin, this office admin and the conference. I'm gonna combine them with, let's see, level two. This was Ahu, yeah, it seems like that's the color, right? Ahu5. So let's come down here, and then this guy, this guy, and this guy are all served by Ahu5. So that's it for level one. Let's go to level two. Level two is looking good. Let's go to level three. Then we're gonna do the same thing here. See this conference room? I'm gonna serve it from Ahu6. And now I just have air handlers. So I'm gonna save. And now I'm gonna start defining my zones. For that, I'm gonna create a duplicate of this view, duplicate with detailing of level one, duplicate with detailing of level two, and duplicate with detailing of level three. And I'm going to rename this level one floor plan mech zones. I'm going to copy this to my clipboard. And then this one's going to be level two zones. And this one's going to be level three zones. So when you're creating your mechanical zone plans, it's a good idea to have handy your AHU breakdown, right? Because uh, those zones are going to be served like all these zones are going to be served by this air handler, right? Which is air handler two. So the zone designation I'm going to use is the first digit. It's going to be for the air handler. And then the second digit is the zone number. So for example, this would be, if this is AHU two, this is going to be zone two one. This is going to be two two. This is going to be two three. And then like for this one, that's AHU four. So this is going to be four one. This is going to be four two and so on. So that's the way I'm gonna do it. If you wanna do it differently, that's okay. It's, uh, you know, it depends on your convention, on your company, on your preference. In my case, this is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna take my Ahu plan to the other screen and I'm gonna start naming my zones. So I'm gonna have this zone as 1.1. I'm gonna have this two in zone 1.2. So in order to create a zone, you come here to the Analyze tab and click on Zone. And then you start adding your spaces. In this case, I'm only gonna have one space, which is this one. You have a name for your zone. By default, you see that this one's zone four. I'm gonna call it zone 1.1. And then I'm gonna add my space, which is gonna be this one. And then I click finish. And now sometimes it's hard to find that zone. So typically what I'd like to do is take it out so that I can select it a little bit easier in the future. See, like this, I'm selecting the zone 1.1. Now zone 1.2, it's gonna contain two spaces, the prep dish 
and dry storage. So zone, notice that it is a smart auto increment integer here. So it's labeled 1.2 automatically. So I can click on my space and now I click on another space and then I finish editing zone. Then again, once I find my zone, in this case it's right here, I like to take it out so that I can find it easier in the future. So I'm gonna tile the windows so you can see what I can see. So this conference, admin, and office are part of Ahu 5, right? So we come here, zone. It's gonna be zone 5.1. And it's gonna be this conference room only. So finish. Grab our zone, take it out. Now I think I'm gonna have the admin and the office in the same zone. So zone. Notice again, 5.2 automatically. Add space is active by default. So admin and office, and I finish editing my zone. Typically the zone gets located in between the spaces. You see it here. So I'm gonna grab it and take it out. Now this one's Ahu 3, so it's gonna be zone 3.1. And maybe I'll have to split this zone and serve it with a few VAB boxes. But for now, I'm just gonna make the zone and then we'll see. So this is Ahu 3. So I'm gonna have, let's say one, two and three then maybe i'll split this one into two different zones so for now let's just go zone this is 3.1 finish grab my zone take it out this one's going to be 3.2 finish see what i mean it's hard to grab it there you go take it out and then the lounge is gonna be another zone. It's gonna be 3.3. Now I have 3.1, 3.2, 3.3. Now let's go with their hander four, which is this one here. And sometimes you don't have this breakdown and you have to do your cooling loads first for all the spaces and then you start grouping into zones and then you start grouping into air handlers or you start grouping into air handlers and then split it into zones. It depends on your workflow and the information you have available. But for now, I know that Ahu 4 is going to be serving all this. And I'm going to have this instruction separate, conference separate, instruction separate, and this vestibule separate. So they're all different zones, and they will all start with 4. So let's start from the top, for example. Zone is going to be 4.1. Finish. Take it out. This is 4.2, finish, I'll take it out, 4.3, finish, I'll take it out, and 4.4, finish, and I'll take it out. Maybe I'll have to split this space, kind of large, but we'll see. It'll depend on my CFM, so the maximum CFM of the VAV box. Now this is Ahu 2, I'm going to have this lounge separate. This instruction, 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 instruction separate, conference separate, and corridor separate. So everything's gonna be a different VAV box, and they all start with two. So this is 2.1. Finish. Take it out. This is 2.2. Finish. Take it out. This is 2.3. Finish. Take it out. 2.4. Finish. Take it out. 2.5, finish, take it out. 2.6, finish, and take it out. And one thing that I should have done is on this one, which is actually my zone plan, I should have set up a color scheme. So let's do that. What do I want? I want the category zones, HVAC zones. I can use schema one. I kind of like it because it's this pastel color. Click OK, and there it is. Those are my zones. Now, as always, we want to have a color fill legend. And they're all my zones. Let's make sure we're not missing any zones here. This is the stair that's on condition. It's a shaft. Men or women are going to be served by the corridor. Actually, the corridor, we're missing the corridor. So the corridor was going to be served by air handler 2. And the last 2 zone that I have is 2.6. So this has to be 2.7. So I come here zone 2.7 oh. 
finish and now it's always very hard to select that zone so one thing you can do is go like this and then filter and here it is just drag it out so you can select it easier later so we have all our zones for level one let's make sure we're not missing anything stairs are on condition and a women and janitors are gonna bring it in from the corridor with louver doors. Electrical is a different animal. This is a shaft, stairs on condition. Electrical different animal, sprinkler a different animal, electrical different animal. Toilet and storage are both gonna be served by this area with louver doors and stairs on condition. So we're done with level one. Let's go to level two and level three and we're following the same method. One thing that's useful so you don't mess up your zones is you take a screenshot of this one and that way you don't get lost sometimes it's a good idea to include the floor and it's easier to follow but now you have three digits so you know it's a tough call